Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic business card in Word and how to customise it. So I'm going to turn my page around because I feel that's easier to put my business cards on. So I'm going to go up to layout, go to orientation and select landscape and then I'm just going to zoom in. So all business cards are a particular size. So I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to shape, click on the drop down and I'm going to select the square and then just click and drag out a rectangle. Now that rectangle is inserted, I'm going to customize the size. So I'm going to make sure it's selected, make sure you're on shape format and at the height over here, I'm going to put 5.5 centimeters in and the width I'm going to put 8.5 centimetres and that's the size of our business card. So I'm just going to zoom in and you can just see we've got a borderline around the outside and this fill colour so we'll make those adjustments first. So on the shape format tab here I've got my outline and I'm going to select black and then in shape fill I'm simply going to select no fill so there's no colour in there at the moment. Then what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out another card and this is for the back. So in this one, this will be the front, we're going to insert a logo, a brand name and just a tagline. So I'm going to go to Insert, Pictures, click on the drop down and select Picture from File. Then here in my logos, I'm just going to select this logo here and click Insert. Now when a picture is inserted into Word, sometimes everything goes a bit awry, but don't panic, just make sure it's selected. Go to Wrap Text and select In Front of Text. Then you'll be able to move it and resize it. So I'm just going to resize mine and just pop it there. Don't worry about the alignment for the time being, we'll come back and sort that out at the end. And then I'm going to put some text in here. So I'm going to go to Insert, Text Box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box click and draw out my text box. Then I'm just going to put in the name of the company and then I'm going to customize this text. So I'm going to select it, go to the home tab. I'm going to select a, another font called Avenir. Then I'm going to increase the size of it. I'm actually going to select 30 and press enter. Then I'm going to select the Align to Center icon so we can make sure this is all aligned up to the middle. And for this one, I'm just going to add a bit of interest. So I'm going to go back up to my fonts and in Avenir, you can see we've got this little arrow which gives us further options. So I'm going to go down to Light here and then with the Smith section, I'm going to go up and make this bold just to give us that little bit more interest. Now you can see this box here has this, this black outline and a white fill colour. So I'm going to get rid of both of those, so select it, go to shape format, again back over to the outline but this time select no outline and shape fill will select no fill. So now we've got that we can actually use this box to copy and paste in the same way we did before, hold down that alt or option key, click and drag then deselect it, reselect it and I'm just going to copy and paste another one over here. So in this one I'm just going to put alternative text, then I'm just going to select it, go to the home tab, I'm going to take the bold off and then I'm going to select the size 16, reduce the size of this box and then move it to the center here. And then I'm just going to put a line across here. Now you can go to insert shapes and select one of these lines but I find they're really difficult to select in Word when you try to go into click on them. So I'm going to select the rectangle, click and draw out a rectangle, then I'm going to take off the outline, the shape fill I'm going to change to black and then over here you can select the height. So I've currently got mine at 0.13, I'm going to just change it to 0.1 and press enter. That's just going to make that a little bit thinner. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to select the logo, hold down the command or control key, select the outer box, then the text, then the rectangle, then the other text. Go to align and select align to center. And that will just align everything to the center. 
Then you can simply use your arrow keys to just move everything up and down. And then you can make alternative adjustments to this. For example, if we select the outer square or rectangle, go to shape format and go all the way over to format pane. Here you've got the bucket icon. You can go to fill. You can go to solid fill and fill it with a particular color. You can select colors from here or you can go to more colors and you can select from the color wheel. Any color you choose will be in this square here and just click OK. Alternatively, you can use a gradient and again, you can use these sliders to increase or decrease your gradient. You can get rid of them with this minus sign or add them with this plus sign. To change the color, simply select one of the sliders, go to the color and then select a different color. You can also select the rectangle or linear and you can select the different directions that that gradient will face. So lots of different options there if you want to change the background colors. You can also choose white as well, which is quite popular. And again, you can move that slider to increase or decrease that gradient. So I'm going to take all of that off at the moment and select no fill because I'm just going to do a simple one for now. Then in this section here, we're going to introduce all of your details. So I'm just going to select this, go to the Home tab. I'm just going to select Avenir again. This time I'm going to select 8. I'm just going to take the bold off for now. And then go to this icon, which is the Align to Left. So I'm just going to put in some details. So I've just copied and pasted all of these details in. So all I've done is choose the Avenir font, but what I have done is selected all the text and I've gone up to this icon here. So originally my text was like this and quite squashed together. So I chose this 1.15 just to space out those lines a little bit more. You can go further if you want to, it's completely up to you. Then obviously you can go over to this icon here and if you wanted to change the color of you, your text, you can do so using this color icon here. So I'm just going to go back to automatic, which is black. Then I'm just going to put this line up to the bottom as much as possible. And then in order to line these up, I'm going to just put it as far away from this edge as I want. And then select this box. Hold down my command or control key, select the outer box. So you've selected both of them. Go to shape format, go to align and select align to middle. And that will make sure that this text is perfectly lined up in the middle of that box. Once you're finished designing your card, it's really important to group everything together. So on this side, let's select this icon here or the logo, hold down the command or control key and select everything else in this box, including this rectangle. Then go to picture format, go to group and select group. Same with this one, select this one, select the outer rectangle, shape format, group and select group. Now let's zoom out and now we're going to go to insert page break. Now we've got two pages. We're going to move this one up here. Then I'm going to hold down my alt or option key to click and drag out another one. I've got two selected at the moment, so I'm going to deselect them, reselect this one, and then just make sure I've copied and pasted it to there. Then with these three, I'm going to select them all, holding down that command or control key, make sure they're all selected. Go to picture format, then go to align and select distribute vertically. And that will mean there's an equal distance between all these boxes. Then align, align to center and then group and select group. Now I'm going to copy and paste this group. So again, holding down the Alt or Option key, I'm going to drag that one out, deselect two of them and reselect just one and then copy and paste it again. Then I'm going to select all of them, two are already selected. So I'm going to hold down my Command or Control key and select that one. That when you've lined all of these up, you need to go to Align align to middle and align distribute horizontally making an equal distance between all of these go to group and select group now this is all one group we can make sure it's perfectly lined to the page 
So go to align, align to center, align, align to middle. Perfect. Now, we're just going to do something a little bit odd, but it does work. So go to the Home tab and go to Copy. You can do it by Command or Control C if you want to. This is already selected, so we're selecting and copying this here. I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to double click at the top of my page. Now I'm in the headers and footers. I'm now going to paste it. So go to Home and Paste. And then I'm going to make sure I can move it. Again, go to Picture Format, Align, Align to Center, Align, Align to Middle. Now, we can do that. It doesn't really matter, but we will do that for now. And then all I'm going to do is double click in the middle of my page. And what you can see is it's slightly grayed out. And that means that it's in the headers and footers. So what I'm going to do now to make sure they're perfectly lined up, and the right distance apart. I'm going to get my first box here. You can see this is the back of my card. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to put it over the top of this first box. I'm then going to hold down my Alt or Option key to copy and paste the next box and then sometimes you'll find this is a little bit clunky and if you do you've just got to hold down the Alt key. Now I'll show you how to do that. Select this box, hold down the Alt or Option key and as you click and drag you can see it's really smooth. Now, sometimes, if I just deselect these two, I'm going to reselect this one. If I now try and move it, you can see it's very clunky. So if I move it and then hit my Alt or Option key, you can see it really smooths it out. And I have the ability now to put it perfectly in line with the box below. Now, once you've got all three boxes lined up, again, hold down the Command or Control key and select all three. Go to Shape Format, go to Group, select Group, and then once again, select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, and we're going to copy and paste that group to there. And then deselect them both because there's two selected. Reselect this one. Again, hold the Alt key down, click and drag across and line it up. Now, once you're happy with the alignment, select them all, holding down that Command or Control key, go to Group and select Group. So this is all now one group and it's all perfectly lined up with the one below. So when you come to print this out and turn it over, it will all align perfectly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to move this down to this page here. I'm going to go to Align, select Align to Center, Align, Align to Middle. I'm then going to click at the very top of my page. So I'm now in the headers and footers. I'm going to select this top one. Again, go to Copy, Home and Copy. Then delete it by pressing the Delete key. Come back into my document by clicking in the center of these pages. And then go to the top here and then click Paste. Now you can see it's moved, which isn't a problem. You go back to Picture Format, Align, Align to Center, Align, Align to Middle. So this one is now perfectly lined up. And so is this one here. So all you need to do is to print the top one out, turn the page round, and then print the bottom one out, which is the reverse. The key to this is remembering you can fully customize all of these. I've shown you how to insert a shape, and you can do that with multiple shapes. And I've also shown you how to lay your text out as well. And I've also shown you how to lay your text out, group everything together, and then put it so that it will print out perfectly. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.